Growing fruits in the home garden is a wonderful way to bring fresh, delicious fruit to your family with the satisfaction of having grown it yourself. It's also a great opportunity to teach children about where fruit comes from, about fruit trees and tree care, and about the fulfillment that comes from growing your own food. With a bit of patience and a little effort, your trees should offer abundant harvests year after year. Number 1. Don't be hasty. Before you begin trying to encourage fruiting, make sure that your plants are old enough and healthy enough to bear the load. Standard fruit trees need anywhere from 4 to 6 years before they are ready to produce. Figs and berry bushes usually need 2 to 3 years. If you notice that your plants are producing flowers before enough time has passed, pick the blooms off before they begin the energy and nutrient intensive process of growing fruit. This will cause the tree to redirect its efforts toward growing stronger limbs and roots. Number 2. Prune as needed. Pruning is essential to reliable fruit production on fruit trees. Again. Left to its natural course, a fruit tree will send our branches every which way and will find them with fruit resulting in small fruits, uneven development and overall reduced productivity. Proper pruning spaces out the fruit, allows more sunlight to reach the fruit, increases airflow and focuses the tree's energy into bigger and better tasting fruits. Pruning is the key to productivity and if done consistently every year is a rather simple and enjoyable task. Pruning should be done at the end of winter before the tree comes out of dormancy. Number 3. Encourage pollination. The most important step you can take is to plant a pollinator friendly garden. There is no need to use powerful poisons to protect your garden from insects and diseases. If you do apply pesticides, make sure you apply them carefully and selectively. To protect pollinators, do not use pesticides on open blossoms or when bees or other pollinators are present. An organic approach is both safer and more effective. By applying the simple principles of ecological plant protection, you can work with nature to control pests and diseases. Enjoy a healthier garden and harvest and protect pollinators and other beneficial insects. Number 4. Fruits Thinning The earlier that fruits are thinned and the leaf to fruit ratio is increased, the larger the fruits will be at harvest and the greater the effect on next year's bloom. Most tree fruits will produce lots of smaller fruits if left to their own devices. By stepping in and carrying out an additional thinning, we can ensure that those fruits remaining are bigger, healthier, and better looking. Not all tree fruits need thinning. The usual suspects requiring a trim are apples, plums, peaches, and nectarines, and, to a lesser extent, pears and apricots. Every tree is different but there are some general guidelines that will help you to get the best results. Number 5. Root Suckers and Water Sprouts It is important to recognize that not all growth is good growth. The production of flowers and fruit require a huge investment of nutrients and energy from your plants, so you want to be certain that these resources aren't being wasted where they aren't needed. Root suckers and water sprouts are two such wastes. Number 6. Know your soil. A soil test every two or three years will provide accurate recommendations for what type and at what rate you will need to fertilize your fruit trees. The most important time to test your soil is before planting. Soil pH can also play a big part in maximizing fruit yields. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends and family. If you have any questions about this video, leave it to the comment box. We will try to respond as soon as possible. For more health tips and recipes, subscribe to our channel.